guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a huge, huge Primark haul as you can probably tell from the title of this video. Um, I have never bought so much stuff from Primark in one go than I have done now. Like I've got two and a half bags full so I'm going to try and get through this as quickly but kind of show you everything in detail as possible. So I've just tried to load everything into two bags um, just so that I can kind of try and organise it a bit better. So this is all of the clothes. It's kind of overflowing. And then I've got loads of homeware as well. I will insert clips of me wearing all the clothes so that you can kind of see how they fit on me. So starting off with homeware. So when I go to the Primark homeware section, I just can't like step away from the cushions. Um, but I did buy another cute little fluffy heart and it's got loads of little tiny hearts on it. I already have like one, like just there if you can see. Um, and I don't know why I only bought one because my bed kind of looks like uneven. So I had to buy another one, of course, to kind of balance out my bed. Um, and it's just so fluffy and I love it. And this only cost me a whopping three pounds. So it's so cute and I love it, especially for three pounds, it's a bargain. Of course, I got more cushions because, you know, you need more cushions on a bed, evidently. Um, and these were actually in the sale. These were a very impulsive buy. These were only two pounds reduced down from a fiver. And they've kind of got like this gray, like dark gray, um, like I want to say velvet, but it's not, it's kind of like a suede very soft, like short material, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, they're dark gray on the back and they've got like a nice little light gray piping around the edge. And they've kind of just got like this inky, like dyed, spill to them I don't know if you can see that like they just look like they've been dropped in paint and I really like that so yeah I got those and I got two of those as well to go on my bed the next item I got from the homeware section was a large fluffy throw um I thought this went really well with my bedroom like it's a really sort of pale grey with like a hint of cream in it and I have like cream carpet and I have like grey and white everything in my room so I kind of thought it would really tie in the floor to like to help it kind of not look so odd in comparison to the rest of my room so I've got this massive large throw and it does fit a double size bed which is amazing um, and it was only nine pounds like what a bargain is that because when I try to find throws they're usually about nine pounds and they're only like for single beds um, and it's really frustrating because obviously it doesn't cover my bed so Yes, really happy with this and I'm just going to throw it on like the end of my bed to kind of make it look all fancy and cute. The last thing I got from Primark's homeware section was just three flannels for my face. I have got another pack of these that I use for all of like my makeup um, and because I still live with my family obviously like I don't want to use all of my mum's like white and cream sort of face cloths wipe off my makeup because they get really stained um, but I just love having the black flannels to like dry my brushes on like I just know they're mine and I know that I just use them for my makeup and my makeup only I believe these are two pounds it doesn't actually say on it but I believe they were two pounds or two pounds fifty but yeah really love these this is kind of cheating this is like the only thing that's not from Primark this was from um, Flying Tiger or Tiger it depends like wherever you go they're called Tiger but there, it is called the Flying Tiger and I just got this really cute water bottle um, and I just really am not drinking enough at the moment, especially at work because I'm finding that I can't just hold a water bottle around me all the time. So it just it's just like a screw off cap like this. I think this is only £1.50 as well. As well as some Primark stuff, I have got a few bits from H&M and like a couple of bits from other places, but I'm just gonna include them um, in this haul because there's only like four or five things that I've got elsewhere and I just really want to show them to you, so I will do that. So the next thing I got from Primark's homeware section or like their sort of living section <laughs> um, were two rolls of wrapping paper. Now these are like really boring pieces, but I'm gonna show them to you anyway because I think they're really cute. And um, this is a six meter roll of wrapping paper and this was only a pound and it has really cute like flamingos on it. I don't know if you can see that. It has like really cute like flamingos that got like heart shaped bodies. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was really cute, especially if you want to wrap up my friend's birthday presents. I just think it's a really cute pink wrapping paper. I then got this one, which I didn't actually need, but I just, I was looking at it and it was, as I was standing in the line, like this is where it gets me all the time when I'm standing in the cute Primark. I was standing in the line with all of my shopping, fully aware that I had bought way too much. And I saw this and I was like, I need you in my life. Um, and this is like a holographic wrapping paper. And I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Like 
it's just so cool. This is only 2.5 meters, so it is a bit shorter than the other one, and I believe this was £1.50 or £2. Um, so again, it's quite relatively cheap, um, and it kind of feels quite thick, like the paper feels quite thick, and yeah, it's holographic, like I just think it's so cool. So the first thing I got was this really cute khaki sort of foresty green skirt, um, and it's about like just above my knee length, as you'll see in the insert, and it's kind of like it's got this waffle texture to it um, and I really loved that and it's got like a cute pocket on the side and it is actually a functioning pocket which I love. This zip at the front does actually do like the whole entire way um, but it's quite stretchy so you don't need that to put it on necessarily um, but it helps if you're like trying to tuck a shirt in or something I guess. But yeah I just thought this was really cute and I'm gonna just like wear this to work. I kind of really want some summery things to wear to work because I kind of only own like a few dresses and mostly trousers and jumpers um, and it's just getting too hot for that now so I needed some new bits that I could wear to work and like kind of wear outside of work if I wanted to so yeah smart but cash oh and i forgot the price the price of this cost me eight pounds so for a khaki green skirt for eight quid i think that's a real bargain i feel like the next item people will either really love or really hate um personally i really love it i just think it reminds me of like being outside like really british sort of countryside i don't know but um it's this beautiful dress and it is just like below the knee it is quite long um and it's got like this beautiful tie through the middle and it's kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a crossover and it's got like these cute little peplum um, sleeves. It's kind of a little bit oriental, I guess, um, but I really loved it. And yeah, you'll see in the clip that it kind of looks really sweet. I think this was £12. Um, I can't find the label on it whatsoever, but um, I just think it was really cute, really sort of airy fairy and really great for the summer. The next thing I got was this belt and this was only two pounds and I just thought I really needed like a jean belt, like a really plain black or brown belt. And it's just got like this brassy sort of buckle um, and then just like a long brown strap. There's nothing much to it to be honest. Again, this was only two pounds and I just needed something to pull like my trousers up. So yeah, I got one of those. While I was in the belt section, I saw this thing and this was four pounds. And this belt is kind of like, you do it up either side to like the tightness you want it to go. And I just thought this was really cool. I really love like this like sort of designed hardware all over the front. It's kind of got like swirly Western pattern. And I just really loved that, but it was really cool. And for four pounds, I think, like Topshop might sell this for like, I don't know, like stupid amount, like 20 quid or something, I don't know. I just feel like Topshop would have sold this and this was really cool and yeah. The next thing I got was this really cute khaki jacket. Um, it has like long sleeves but you can kind of roll them up if you want them to and it's just really simple, like there's nothing on the front, it's just like this fake pocket but it has got some really nice buttons pockets down here. I've already put my pin that I got in my um, pink parcel on my jacket, I just thought it was really cute there and I thought I could put a few little other pins like alongside this edge, I thought it'd be really cute. And yeah, this was £14 and I just needed like a new khaki jacket. I feel like I needed something quite lightweight that I could throw on in the summer. And yeah, this is really cute, I love it. So the next thing I got was this beautiful red jumper um, and it's kind of got like these really flared sleeves. They are a little bit crazy and they've got like white detailing on the cuffs the bottom and the collar um, and if you watch Stranger Things you'll kind of like get where I'm coming from but it just reminded me of what Nancy would wear obviously Nancy being the sister of the main character like the guy the boy his name completely is beyond me but <laughs> if you watch Stranger Things you'll kind of see what I mean like this is kind of what Nancy would wear and I really just kind of I saw it and I was like I need that in my life um, but yeah, it's just like really cute flared sleeves. Um, I could wear this to work or just like out for dinner, so it's kind of universal. Um, and yeah, for £10 I thought it was really cute. The next thing I got was just like from the basics range, I guess. Um, and this was just like a really simple, casual sort of t-shirt dress, but it had like this nice sort of cross stitch, well not cross stitch, but like crossover um, like lacy detailing on the front. Um, it is just like really short sleeved. It's quite thin, sort of cotton, um, and this was only eight pounds. Yeah, so this was eight pounds. It was like a really simple grey, and I just thought it would be really nice, like in the summer, just to throw on, like just for around the house, just like a lazy weekend 
um, but you could kind of also just walk into town with this so yeah really like this again I got like a nice little like crochet I think it is sort of jumper um, and this was only five pounds reduced down from ten so it's a complete bargain um, it's this really soft sort of um, woolly texture I think it's just acrylic wool let me have a look it is in fact 100% cotton which is probably why it's so soft but for five pounds it's such a bargain and again it just reminded me of what Nancy would wear in Stranger Things so I was like I need this she is so cute she has such a cute sense of fashion so I thought I'd get this um, and yeah it's a really cute thin little summertime jumper I also got some lovely lingerie. I kind of felt like I needed some more, you know? I just felt like I needed to go through my socks and pants, get rid of some old ones, you know, get through the ones that the elastic have gone a little bit, just treat myself to some new knickers, you know? Um, so these were a pound, and these are just like some cotton pants I can just wear every single day, sort of thing. Well, not every single day, but I can wear it on an everyday basis. They kind of got this like cute sort of pattern on them. I just thought they were like really cute. And I kind of got the same sort of style. Um, but with cute little flowers around the front and blue lace around it and they were a pound each I then just got another pack of three sort of Brazilian lime pants um, for five pounds though I am kind of regretting these because they're kind of like a plasticky sort of like stretchy material but I guess they'll be okay just for an everyday use sort of thing but I kind of really liked them because on the front got like this cute cutout detail like I really thought that was really cute um so yeah they come in black like this sort of tealy color and like a stripey color so yeah I thought they were really cute and then of course I got a little bralette and matching pants I thought these were so so cute and the white is just so beautiful I don't know if you can see because of the lights it's got like this beautiful sort of flower on it and the same on the bra but I just thought these were really, really adorable. Like, they're just beautiful. And I already have, like, the khaki edition of these. Like, edition? I don't know if that's the right word to say. But, like, a khaki sort of style of these. And they're just so, so comfy. Um, especially because I'm more petite on my top. Um, yeah, I just really love these. The bra that was £8 and the pants were £3. So, it's kind of... It's an expensive for Primark. But, like, it's nice quality. <clears throat> and you'd pay more elsewhere so I didn't mind paying a little bit more for that. The next thing I got from Primark was absolutely my style 100% and it's this sweater that says California Dreaming. Um, I got it in a size 12 just because I like it to be a little bit oversized and like cover my hips a little bit more. Um, so I got this, it's so so soft, it's just got long sleeves like that and kind of like a pinched in bottom sort of thing like around here so it's kind of elasticates around your hips and the same with the cuffs. Um, but yeah, it's just like my style, 100% and I love it. And this was only £5. Like £5 for a sweater, I think it's the cheapest sweater I own. It's just adorable, I love it. The next thing I got was this really cute stripy shirt um, that goes all the way down. So it's long sort of body um, and it does have long sleeves but you can sort of roll them up and there's like a little button there. Um, and it has this beautiful sort of embroidery detailing and I thought it would be so cute at work and not at work like at work with some grey pencil trousers or just in in with some shorts if I'm just going out to the beach or something um, and it is button up all the way down and this was only £12 so I thought it was a complete bargain and I just love it I just think it's so like fresh and really cute and a little bit different as well so yeah embroidery is really in and I really love this the next two things I have got are like a little bit like hit or miss but I really love them and um, they are like part of a suit but I think together they kind of just look like a pair of pajamas so I won't be wearing them together um, the top half is like this really cute sort of crossover body um, like kimono -y sort of style top it's kind of got like these beautiful straps that just go around the body um, and yeah it's just really cute especially for work I thought it was like really sort of summery and fresh this top was only £10 I just thought this was really cute um, and really different the bottoms were only £5 I don't know why they were 5 but they were reduced down from 13 um, they're kind of like this relaxed sort of suit style sort of pants sort of thing like not pants but like trousers um but I won't be wearing them together like I said because they just look like pajamas like together so I don't know I think I might just switch up with like a white blouse with these and like some black trousers with those or like a yeah black trousers <laughs> um but these have got some gorgeous cream piping around the pockets so yeah that's gorgeous they've got a drawstring up here um and they've got like 
loose bottom legs. It's really hard to describe, but again, you'll see it in the insert clip. But yeah, some beautiful trousers and a beautiful sort of top and they're matching and it's really pretty. Of course, when you go into Primark, you've got to go visit the jeans section. If anyone doesn't have Primark jeans, I just can't rate them enough, to be honest. Like, I go into Topshop and they're like £40 for a pair of jeans. None of them fit me properly. Granted, they are really pretty. None of them fit me properly, but um, Primark jeans fit me like a blooming glove. Like, they are just perfect. Um, I did get the size up from these. Normally, I am a 12 on my bottom half, but sometimes with some jeans I am a 14 because of the style of wear um, so I just got two pairs of super high skinny waist jeans in the size 14 um, and they just come up really like high and I like how high they come up because some high jeans don't come up that high I'm saying high like too many times but um, these were only £8 for the black pair and I think they were £8 as well yeah and £8 for the blue pair so I thought it was a real bargain for two pairs of jeans, £16. That's cheaper than one pair of Topshop jeans by like a half. So I'm really happy with these. The next thing I got was actually from the men's section. Um, and they're just like these really sort of soft pair of trackies. Um, and my boyfriend bought some for himself and I tried them on. And then I was like, actually, I need a pair of these. They are so soft. Um, and when I went into the women's section, they were more expensive in the women's section and in the men's which is completely bogus and um, these were only five pounds i think they were yeah they, these were five pounds for a pair of trackies and they are so like thick and soft and they have kind of like the cuffed ends they have some pockets they're drawstring and they're just so cozy around the house and i just love them so yeah if you're looking for a pair of comfy trackies don't go to the women's go to the men's they're really soft and really like thick i love it so the very last thing I got from Primark was from the jewellery section. I didn't try to go to the accessories section too much because I didn't really want to buy any more shoes. I didn't want to buy any more bags or jewellery. But when I saw this, I thought this was really cute. And I thought this would be really good for work um, because it's just like this silver sort of U-bend, I guess. Like this, like, I don't know, it's like this silver bar, but it's got a bend in it. And it's like kind of glittery because it's all like hammered sort of metal um, and it does slide along the chain this was only £1.50 so I kind of just smashed and grabbed this one because I thought it was really cute so that was everything from Primark I spent a pretty penny I think it was over like £100 I'm pretty sure it was about £150 in the end which is like appalling like appalling but um oh well so the next couple of bits that I got is just from H&M um, and I will show them to you because I thought these were absolute bargains like absolute bargains um i was just having a look in the sale so i don't know if they're still around now so i'm really sorry but i just really want to show them to you so the first thing i got from h m is this really cute handbag it is quite big um, and it's got like a really big strap these really cute like detailing handles that are like snake skin i guess um and it's really cute and it's got quite a big sort of middle to it that's exposed and then two zippy sort of pockets either side and then one zippy pocket in like in there and then two little like pouches in there as well um, and this was wait for it ready are you ready to know how much this cost this bag was reduced from 34 pounds 99 to 11 pounds and 4p 11 pounds and 4p from h&m absolute bargain and i'm really happy that i got it and yeah it's absolutely beautiful the next thing i got from h&m was again a sweater i just love my sweaters but this is in a really cute powder pink again this was an absolute bargain this was reduced down from 17 pounds 99 to 6 pounds 37 pence six quid it's just so cheap and it's just really good quality, nice and thick. Um, this is in a size medium, like there was only small, medium or large. So I kind of went safe for the medium, but this is like a huge medium. Like this is absolutely huge. And you'll see in my little clip that it is a little bit baggier, but to be honest, I don't mind that too much. I'd rather it be baggier than too small. So I thought it was just so cute. I just love powder pink at the moment. I think it's so cute. And then the last thing I got from H&M is this really cute sort of vesty top. And I just thought this would look so so cute with like a, a leather jacket some high-waisted skinny jeans and like some nice sort of like lace-up boots or something um but it's kind of like just this sort of velvet 
sort of vest. I don't know if you can actually see that whatsoever, but um, it was just so cute. And this was reduced down from £17.99 to £4.24, which is just insane. I cannot believe I got it for that price. It is such a bargain. It's such sort of like thick, high quality sort of clothing. It's got this beautiful lash lace all the way around the outside. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's got like lace all on the bottom as well. Um, and yeah, so this would be so, so cute for like an evening out with my friends. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've kind of enjoyed um, looking at what I've bought from Primark and H&M and like Tiger a little bit, like those extra little bits. Um, but yeah, this was a huge Primark haul. I will probably not be doing another Primark haul for a long time because I bought a lot of stuff. But yes, I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye. So when I go to the Primark, Primark, what? There is so much, I can't even explain, there is so much. Oh, we are nearly at the bottom of this bag.